With different initial values, the same difference equations will give different sequence. For example, um, xn is 3xn minus 1 plus 4. All right. So here in A, we have two same difference equation. And then the first one have um, initial condition 1, and then the second one have initial condition 0. So we work on the first one first. x2 would be 3x n is 2, then it would be 1 plus 4. So um, x1 is 1, so 3 times 1 plus 4 is 7. So x2 is 7. And then you can find x3, which is 3x2 plus 4, so which is 3 times 7 plus 4, which is 25. And then you can find 25 times 3 plus 4, and you will get 79. So with x is 1, you will get 1, 7, 25, and 79. With this same difference equation, but a different initial values, you start with 0, you will have 3 times 0, which is 0 plus 4, so we'll, you will get a 4. And then 4, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 4, you will get 16, and so on. So same equation, different initial condition, and then you will have a different sequence. And then this is the Fibonacci sequence. So you will start with f1 is 1, f2 is also 1. It will give you 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. I assume, you, I assume that you are very familiar with this one right now. And we will have a, the same difference equation, but this time we change the f2 to 0. Then we will have 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on. So maybe we can check it. Then you will have 1, 0, and then they add together. You will get a 1. And then 0, 1, they add together. You get a 1 again. And then 1, 1, you add together. You get a 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, and so on. Um, so the whole thing try to illustrate same difference equation, different initial conditions, you will get a different sequence. So initial condition is very important.